it's, um, it's just such a great honor for me to be a part of this and to be able to represent you and, and to be you know, your representative to the world uh, for this college. Uh, but what you guys have done for us, uh, people are going to be talking about this for a long, long time. Yeah. Uh, and again, thank you so much for a great, great team. Uh, what I want to do now is introduce three guys who are such an important part of this college. Because as I said, you have this four-year period here, and a lot of times what you're doing is you're looking, you're trying to decide what kind of a man you work with. And you're looking all the time at role models. And you're asking yourself, is that a characteristic? Is that a quality? Is that an aspect of manhood that I want to emulate? Or is that something I don't want to be in my life? And again, I'm so proud of having my three coaches here who are outstanding whole bodies. <laughs> Pretty amazing when you uh, 
into these certain stages because you have to go into these things and you can't control the win or the loss. If you could, you'd win every game, right? You'd win every championship. You just have to have that courage to go give your best and continue to do that without knowing what's going to happen. And these guys did that. And we do that at Hampton Sydney. We form those type of men, you know, and that's what's so impressive about this place. Just so thankful for that. I want to leave you with one last, uh, it's been overwhelming the amount of texts and emails and letters and phone calls that I've gotten, that we've gotten. Um, but Jeff Monroe, I shared this with the team, you guys mind if I share this? Jeff Monroe, who was part of the 2003 Final Four team, sent a long text right after we won the Final Four game. I thought it was pretty special. You know, I've shared it with the team, and I'm going to share it with you. And it went something like this Hey, coaches, congrats on another dub. I hope you and the guys know that there are generations of Tigers cheering you on from afar. Our group chat from the 2003 squad blows up as we watch these games. We're all proud of what you've accomplished. This team's bond is pretty obvious as I watch them play. They so often pass up good shots to get great shots. They defend and rebound as a group. Different players step up and make different plays every game. Everyone seems to pull for each other. They're tough. The run that we're going down the seven yesterday showed extraordinary toughness. They have earned a special bond. You guys know that a bond like this is not given. You don't just get it by showing up and putting on the same uniform. It's earned over time by battling together for wins, by covering for each other, by being determined not to let your teammate down. Not every team can earn it, but no matter what happens tomorrow, this team has. Experiencing a bond like this is special. I've been fortunate enough to, to a few times with my wife and family, with a few friendships, and with a couple of teams like the 03 and 04 teams in Hampton City. But that's it. And although the bond will last beyond tomorrow, the chance to enjoy it every day will end. It may be tempting for the guys to focus on what a championship would mean or feel like. I would humbly urge them to shift their focus to each other, to just enjoy sharing one more day together, chasing a shared goal, to enjoy one more chance to step up for each other and know that your brothers have your back, to savor the thrill of scrapping and clawing for one more victory together. Tomorrow's gonna to be a great day. So although we did not win the championship, we are so proud to call each other brothers and share this bond together and to share this bond with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It fuels the fire and we will be back.